All right, so it's been a while since I last taught you FF50 just because of the Halloween stuff. But again, you know, I'm really enjoying this collection of games. Um, they do have a Halloween-esque kind of horror game in here, so I'm going to do it. Just to stick with the theme of, you know, October and spooky stuff. You shouldn't have left the party angry. Amy was out of line, but then again, she's been going through a lot. Wait, what's that? This will, yeah, yeah. I basically didn't check this one out. Um, because it seemed like something where I need to take my time. Where am I? You mutter as you wake up in a strange room. The last thing you remember is driving your car. And then you hit something in the road. Disoriented, you try to make sense of your new surroundings. I mean, it's like classic point and click. The window is the only... Oh, the only window in the room is boarded up from the other side. An empty ceramic bowl. It smells like old dog food. An oxidized metal vent. This is a small dinghy storage room. And has been repurposed as a holding cell. Years of dirt and grime cling to the walls. Single bulb casts a yellowish light across the room. It flickers as though it could go out at any moment. What appears to be a closed trap door is in the ceiling, out of reach. Dirty door seems to be the only way out of this room. Oh, there's like an interact button. Despite efforts, okay cool, I got it. You search through the mattress only to find bugs crawling out of its seams. It looks like the vent cover can come off, but you can't seem to get a good enough grip on it with your bare hands to pry it off. Okay. You try turning the knob, but as you fear, the door is locked. Spoon? You take the spoon. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm with it. <laughs> pry it open. You use the spoon to pry the vent cover off with ease. You take the folded piece of paper and the hairpin holding it together. Lost his mind. Why? Okay, um, I guess hairpin on the door? You stick the hairpin into the lock and wiggle it around. The hairpin becomes stuck, but you hear the lock Click open. The hallway stretches out before you with a staircase at the end. Pale moonlight shines in from a door to your left. There's like a fungus door. The wood of this door appears to be infested by some kind of fungus. There are mushrooms growing out of it. Probably not a good idea to go through there. The unassuming wooden door has closed. A decorative sand with a false drawer. On top of it is a framed photograph of two children. A framed, a framed portrait of a woman in flowing gown. This doorway is completely jammed with bags of garbage and broken furniture. The smell is terrible. There is no way to open the stand. What looks like a drawer is just a decorative knob. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go through here. This spacious living room might have been a cozy place to relax if you had come to this house on better terms. A portrait of a couple of children- a couple and their children. They seem happy. Hmm. 
Hold on. You flip the frame over and see the Pills family 1986 written on the back. Okay. You look over your shoulder to see the living room behind you. A thin layer of dust on this wooden coffee table makes you wonder if anyone is even living in this house. <laughs> that actually got me. A large painting of a beautiful landscape. This old worn couch is threadbare at its corners. A large television and case in a sturdy wooden cabinet sits there. I mean, I like the aesthetic of this. Turning on the TV briefly illuminates the room with a hissing static screen before the TV flashes with pop and goes back off. Behind the picture is nothing but cobweb. <laughs> what about the curtain? As you try, try as you might to open them, the windows won't budge an inch. You move the couch cushions away to reveal a few coins among the balls of lint where the cushions were. I got some money. Whatever that thing in the fireplace is, it's too big and heavy to be carried around. Ugh. Inside the fireplace is a football-shaped object wrapped in cloth and tied tightly together with a cord. Well, that is unsettling. Football-shaped object, huh? The ceiling of this expansive foyer reaches all the way up to the second floor of the house, with twin staircases leading there. The second floor of the upper landing is incredibly dark. It, it's impossible to see anything on the second floor. An antique grandfather clock stands, frozen in time. There is a small hole in the face of the clock. You run your hands along the grandfather clock, but aside from a small hole in the front, you find nothing. Well, what about the small hole? A bench and an end table with a small plant decorate this little nook. Alright, let's go left. A fine wooden table surrounded by six chairs is at the center of this lavish dining room. This candelabra features three stems, each holding a dusty white candle that has never been lit. A very nice hanging lamp with several bulbs. It's a shame that it seems to have burnt out long ago. What's that on the wall? What appears to be modern art is faintly visible through the darkness. An intricate ornamental egg sits among the fine dinnerware behind the thick glass of this fancy wooden china cabinet. The china cabinet is tightly sealed and you don't see a way of opening it. Okay. What's this? You take the journal entry for... July 18th, 1987. Today I was in the sunroom, enjoying a cup of tea. It has a unique, musky aroma that's really starting to grow on me. Sadly, my piece ended when I noticed that the kids had gotten handprints all over the glass. We can only afford to have the housekeeper here once a week now, so I guess I'm the one who's stuck with cleaning it up. A decorative plant sits atop a small table. Upon closer examination, it's artificial. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Oh! As you step into the kitchen, the first thing you notice is the foul smell, but then you realize there's someone else in here with you. A large figure is hunched over and standing in the corner of the kitchen. You say hello, but receive no response. 
Your hand trembles as you slowly reach for the knife. He turns around and suddenly raising a very large cleaver in his hand. You begin to tremble in fear. Um. Hey, have some money. Yeah, I'll pay you. He seems uninterested in the coins. Have a spoon. Oh, you can leave? Oh, he's chasing me. The masked figure suddenly appears in front of you. You begin quaking in fear in this terror in this presence. Oh, this is this is tense. With your head pounding on your chest, you duck behind the curtains and cover your mouth, hoping to hide. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Oh. Fine. Dude, this is getting... After what feels like an eternity, you hear them turn around and leave. Despite your fear, you survived. Um, I needed to sneeze as that was happening, and, like, I was trying hard not to. It, it sucked. What a time. Okay, let's not go in there again. Of all the times. The simple tiled floor bathroom is fairly clean despite the cloying smell of mildew hanging in the air. Slimy black sludge clings to the inside of this otherwise ordinary toilet. The toilet flushes loudly. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Who's in the bathroom? Oh no, the curtain's gone. Okay, I see how this works. I only get certain chances. But I can go past where the air in the garage is a bouquet of mildew and motor oil. A single light bulb casts the room in the yellow glow. So I can't actually do anything. Dude, go back. Oh. As the intense pain consumes you, you wonder what you did to deserve a horrible end. You fall to the ground and pull blood. And then wake up in a cold sweat. You run your hands over your body, feeling nothing. Was it just a nightmare? Okay, I see. Excuse me for flushing the toilet. The thing sink is nearly overflowing with brown water. You really don't want you to put your hand in the foul water. You open the medicine cabinet. Inside you find a pair of tweezers. Okay. You pull the shower curtain away to reveal a shocking sight. Oh my god. A mummified corpse in the tub is encrusted with mold and fungi. Tweezers. The edge of the tweezers keeps slipping off, and ugh. The hand of the mummy, it's hard to find a good angle. Spoon. Okay. So I really can't use the tweezers? Okay. I'm gonna need another way. The bedroom appears to have common amenities, but nothing too specific, indicating that it is possibly a guest room. Journal entry 2. May 27th, 1987. Things have been tense with Cheryl since losing my job with the firm. 
I had to calmly explain to her that our financial situation is not in jeopardy, and that she can continue working on her fashion design projects without having to worry about anything. I'm still pretty irritated, so I think I'm going to try a cup of that relaxing tea now. Okay, well they both have mentioned this... this tea. A decorative houseplant that died some time ago, the leaves that remain clung to it are dry and brittle. A simple table lamp sits atop the nightstand, the bulb inside is blackened and burnt out. You try to open the jewelry box, but it seems locked. Can I use tweezers, maybe? Not nothing. There are several drawers in the vanity set. Buried among the towels and clothing in the drawer, you find some batteries that might come in handy. Okay. Searching through the trash yields nothing. Interesting, and now your hands are feeling sticky. Ugh. You open the drawer and notice various reading materials. Among them is a page that looks like it was torn out of a journal. Is this one? No, I already got that. It's five. So they keep mentioning that T, that seems to be like a common theme in this. I've spent the past few days sick in bed with some kind of flu, headache, nausea, etc. Today I was finally able to hold down some solid food. Funnily enough, my symptoms seemed to disappear the moment I had some of that tea that my therapist gave me. She didn't mention anything about it being a flu cure, but I'd like to believe that it helped. An ordinary queen-size bed with sheets laid neatly on top. Despite how tired you feel now, I, I just wanted to flip the pillow and say there was something underneath. Um, behind the picture is nothing but cobwebs. Okay, what about here? You open the standing closet, a single hook is hanging on the otherwise empty rack. You take the hook. I got a rusty hook. I could probably use that to pry the ring off the hand. You use the hook, but nothing happens. Okay, never mind. Okay, um... Oh, that's the bedroom. I haven't been in the fungus door, then. The knob turns, but the door won't budge. Something must be blocking it from the other side. Alright, we're going upstairs, then. A locked gate at the top of the stairs is blocking the way. You're having trouble working the latch from this side. I can't walk up the stairs this way. Oh, okay, I see. Something blocking the front door from the other side. This is the kitchen. The kitchen's up next. Can I break the glass? No. Nah. You have no use for the candelabra. Even if there was food on the table, you don't think you have much of an appetite. Oh, dude's gone. The refrigerator is filled with cans of dog food and rotting meat. You close the door before the smell can reach your nose. Isn't that on the fridge? August 15th, 1987. Today I was outside enjoying my tea, when one of the landscapes bumped 
into my cup and spilled it on the- oh, landscapers. Bumped my cup and spilled it on the ground. To my surprise, Baxter ran over and started licking up the puddle immediately. Instead of being mad, I just laughed. Who knew dogs like tea? The range is completely filthy, covered in a thick layer of black grime. It's impossible to see through the glass oven door. You open the oven door and see what looks like a charred remains of a turkey. At least, you hope that's what it is. Oh man. <laughs> Given we just read about a dog, I don't want to know. Looking through the cabinets reveals common dinnerware, including plates, cups, and glasses. Nothing in particular looks useful. You open the kitchen sink cabinet to find various cleaning supplies, including a large bottle of drain cleaner. You take it. Oh, okay. That's something. You can get rid of that sludge. You empty the contents of the drain cleaner into the sink. Moments later, the foul water is sucked down the drain. You try to take the shiny object out of the drain, but your fingers are just too big to fit into the small opening. I can relate to that, I have big fingers. Using the tweezers, you adroitly pluck a silver key from the drain, but lose the tweezers down the drain in the process. Okay, which I assume that's going to be for the cabinet. Wait, is there a TV remote? Journal- oh, there was a journal entry on there. Hang on, what's this as well? But your best efforts, nothing. Matches, okay. Ow! Um, go here. Go here. Curtains. How do you hide? I don't know- I don't know how I hid last time. How did I hide last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I wake up, right? I don't know how I hid last time in the curtains. Like, I didn't even click anything. Weird. Alright, let's not worry about that for now. I tried paying him off, it didn't work. You can't even seem to find a keyhole on the china cabinet, but sure enough, it's locked tight. Huh. Okay. Oil can. Another journal entry. Baxter has been vomiting to the point of dry heaving all day. He won't even eat or drink anything. The kids are very upset, and Cheryl won't stop blaming me because she thinks it was my tea that made him sick. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, our personal vet is out of town, and all the others are closed, so... It'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Yeah, I mean, 
the game looks retro, but the, this game released this year. It's like part of that UFO 50 compilation. It's locked. I mean, this would be a weird key to use on a... ...on a car. Yeah, I didn't think so. Duct tape. Nothing happens. Okay. I wasn't trying to give the door handle a yank, I was trying to open, like... ...pop the hood. Picking through the trash, you find only junk, and ouch! You've cut yourself on a piece of rusty scrap metal. Okay. Oh, now I can take the knife? Looking through the cabinets reveals common dinnerware, including... Okay. You aren't interested in collecting any of these anytime soon. The smell of chlorine hangs faintly in the cool, wet air as the sound of crickets drone through the night. There is a greenish hump floating in the center of the pool, just out of arm's reach. Don't think... The hook would be ideal for grabbing the floating object, but it's not nearly long enough to do it on stone. Okay. Let's find something else. Four stone lion statues, mottled with moss and lichen, stand like sentinels in front of a dark, foreboding gate of oxidized copper. A lion statue with mouth agape as if it was waiting to be fed. On the base is inscribed, The red hot sun will warm the day. The green... The spring green fields the children play. When yellow leaves begin to fall, the white wind comes to take all. The one for every season? Okay. Okay, there's no lock or anything. In the stillness of the night, small critters can be heard rustling through the overgrown grass, this unkempt backyard. This key is minuscule in comparison to the rusty lock. There's nothing. Okay, what about the shed? You try turning the knob, but as you fear, the door is locked. Yeah, but... doesn't fit. A rusty old lawnmower sits half buried in the overgrown grass. Wait, was there anything else to do here, or is this just a dead end? The side area of the house is comparatively smaller than the backyard. And looks like it was once used as a flower garden. The ground here looks bare, in contrast to the thick grass that covers the rest of the lawn. Something's buried here. I'm gonna unearth it with a spoon. <laughs> no, okay. The cherry tree looks like it hasn't been tended to in a long time. The few fruits growing on it look me mealy and rotten. You pick a cherry from the tree and notice that it's completely covered in mold. You quickly discard it. The dirt is packed tightly here and you can't seem to break the ground with bare hands. There's a greenhouse. 
Plants that once decorated this sunroom have grown to cover almost every interior surface. The aroma of vegetation is overwhelming. Another journal entry. I kind of wish I would order them. Baxter did not make it through the night. I just finished burying him under the cherry... Oh. <laughs> okay. That's that's what that is. Alright. Um, his favorite spot to sleep. Charlie and Becky are beside themselves with sadness. I was, I was trying to... <laughs> ah, there's treasure here. You try to open the container, but the vines wrapped around it keep it bound. I'm gonna cut it with a knife. No, not the hook. Hang on. Knife. Oh! Can I, like, just... Wow, you're not allowed to. Can I... Is there any way? How do I get out? This way. With your heart pounding in your chest, you duck behind a large portion cup. Okay, so it's just automatic. I didn't do anything to, to trigger this. You just have to get to a spot where this happens. Yeah! <laughs> Got it. After what feels like an eternity, you hear them turn around and leave. Despite your fear, you survive. Okay, can, can you... Leave me alone now, and... You can't find a good angle with the knife to cut through the vines. Okay, never mind. You pick up the teacup to ponder it for a moment before setting it back down. An empty porcelain teacup sits on top of the table. A thin layer of mold lines the inside of it. The door is choked with vines and impossible to slide open. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. It can be a little clunky to find. Um, how to navigate around properly. The large, imposing house stands before you. Almost defiantly, you'd love nothing more than to leave its vicinity. There seems to be a sort of latch inside the hexagonal opening of this plaque, but you can't seem to manipulate it. Okay. I mean, I have a lot of items. I guess we can go upstairs because there's a torch now. I haven't found a use for the key yet. How do we get upstairs? Is 
uses the flashlight on the darkness, but nothing happens. But I have... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I need to... You put the batteries in the flashlight and try turning it on. Give the light, the flashlight shines brightly. There we go. Okay, got it. Your flashlight chases away the darkness and revealing a central archway and two wooden doors on the second floor. Okay, there we go. Got it. The posters and small, identical beds indicate that this is a bedroom for two young children. Oh, we're already in flashlight mode. You try to open the music box, but it's held tight by some locking mechanism. Um, do I have the key? Won't fit. Okay. The stall house is too big to carry around, and there's nothing inside that seems like it would be useful. Another journal entry. Inside you find clothing and toys, none of which are useful. Looking through that dresser, you find the odd toy among children's clothing, but nothing that looks like it would be useful. Worst fights with my wife in a long time. Yesterday the kids were playing in the yard where the dog was buried. Today they are very sick. Wife blames me, saying I should have taken care of the stuff that was growing under the tree. And what? And that it made them sick. I know the tea will help them, so I will make some for them to drink. Oh, is this like a... Like a Last of Us kind of thing. The layout of this hallway is similar to the one on the first floor, except for the total darkness. You'd best watch your step. Just the fungus took him out. Oh. Whoops. Damn. The... Go here. The knob doesn't turn and there's no keyhole. Okay. There is a small there is an eeriness about the pitch black playroom. Once a place of merriment, as evidenced by many toys. That looks like directions. Something was drawn on the wall with red and blue crayon. It looks like a jumbled mess. Reluctantly, you approach the bear and give it a few pats to make sure it's not alive. The gentle push jerks the rocking horse into an erratic motion that winds a rhythmic creak until everything... Oh no. You take the doll. Place a block at the top of the... Oh, stop. Let's just stop messing around with things. You rum rummage through the toy box, but don't notice anything that looks like it would be useful. Oh. Journal entry 14. Wife said kids seem worse. She begs me to take them to the doctor. She is wrong. She is always wrong. I know they will be fine. I will give them tea. They will get better. Yeah, I mean, the, the spelling on these notes is getting worse and worse. It's slowly becoming more erratic and just a garbled mess. Flick the switch. Nothing happens.
this one down in here. Oh, this is the room I came from. Okay, got it. Which means I haven't been in here. Oh, this just leads back there. Hang on. Alright, we're going this way. This cozy lounge is decorated with trophies that might be a nice place to relax under different circumstances. Another journal entry. I mean, this one's earlier. One of the landscapers showed me something unusual today. He pointed out a patch of strange tendrils that were growing up from the ground where I buried Baxter two weeks ago. I have no idea what they were, but I noticed a pungent and familiar smell. It smelled a lot like my tea. Ugh. I don't know where this is going. Oh. An old-fashioned coin-operated jukebox with various records inside. Well... Turning on the TV briefly illuminates the room with a hissing static screen before the TV flashes with a pop and goes back off. Alright, let's have a look around. There's like, uh... The stiff, coarse fur feels cold to the touch. Whatever life this once had is now gone. <laughs> Okay, we gotta hide. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> At least there's no... Well, okay, maybe the whole thing is, like, completion rate, you know? Like, perhaps I'm just not going to get a good ending because I've let him get me. But that was going to happen anyway, it was inevitable, because I was going to put the coins inside the machine. You insert some coins into the jukebox as a sentimental song begins to play. The sheet of paper falls from underneath. Effect sheet music. Uh, yeah, I knew it. So I'm guessing this is the husband. Wait, go back, go back. Go out. This is where I hit last time. Ah, it's so annoying avoiding him. Okay, this might be very morbid, but can I use the knife on the doll? Like, maybe there's something hidden inside the doll. You stick the rusted knife into the doll's stomach, ripping it open. Inside you find a small aluminium key amidst the stuffing. There you go. Okay. Smart. I got two keys now that I don't know what to do with. The music box. The music box, the music box, the music box. Which is gonna set it off and the <laughs> gonna come. The lid of the music box snaps open and a haunting tune fills the air. Yeah, yeah. Red tint and glasses. Okay, so now... Ah! Uh, okay, I know what to do with these now. That drawing. But this dickhead is gonna come chase me now. Yeah! Okay.
It's fine. It's fine. After what feels like an eternity, you're here. Then turn around and leave. Powers RE4. That was fine. I liked it. It's done now. I'm just using this as like a little bit of filler. Yeah, I mean, I, I dig the vibe. Like, again, this collection of games really does mimic the feel of 1980s games. Though without the limitations that those games had. Okay, I need to go back upstairs. Yeah. You view the scribbles through the glasses, and arrows suddenly materialize out of the disorder. You memorize them. Use the directions on wall. Wow. Okay. Hmm. This dark attic seems to have forgotten in been forgotten in time. Dust covers every inch of the floor, and cobwebs choke the rafters overhead. Journal entry number three. I saw Cheryl sticking one of my pool cues in the pool today. I shouted, Honey, that's not how you play pool. Thinking some humor might hide my irritation. Turns out she had attached something to the end of it to fish out a necklace that had dropped in. I just wish she hadn't used my expensive cues for that. Okay, um, got it. This antique wooden rocking chair is in a state of disrepair. You get an uneasy feeling from this cluster of mannequins standly, standing silently in the darkness. Maybe the key I have opens this? I still don't know... Okay, I have some sheet music. You begin playing the piano, but on the 16th note, a wire snaps with a twang. You reach over and pull out the wire. Now this idiot's gonna come down and chase- <laughs> Hold on, how do we get out? How do we get out? Um... I'm here... I'm here... I'm here... I'm here... Anytime I make... A noise, it's just gonna do this shit. Okay, this is where I can hide every time. You'd think he'd catch on at some point. Nice. Okay, man, I have so much random stuff. I tried the key on here. It's locked. I need to go to the recreation room and try and find the pool cue. There it is. 
No, 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 grab this. Okay, cool. Now I can fish out that thing. A keyhole. Hang on. Gold lock, of course not. Attaching the hook to the end of the pull cue seems like a good idea, but you'll need something to secure it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Tape on this. You wrap a long piece of tape around the hook, leaving part of it hanging free so the hook can be attached to something else. Okay, and now... That. You tape the hook to the end of the pull cue, creating a long hooked pole. Okay, and now we can fish this out. You pull the object closer to you with the hooked pole. It's surprisingly heavy. As it gets closer, you realize it's a corpse. Your skin crawls as you reach down and remove a copper key from the corpse's belt. Okay. Nope. I wish it would keep the item. There we go. The copy key turns the lock on the shed's door, and the creaky wooden door swings open. The small confines of this wooden shed feel cramped and claustrophobic. Wood dust seems to cover every surface of this tiny space. You can't seem to tear or otherwise open the sack with your bare hands. Okay. Knife. You slice the sack open with the knife, causing dirt to cascade to the floor. There's something shiny in the dirt. Bronze key. Another journal entry. A screwdriver. A wrench. Shears. Oh my god. Shovel. <laughs> Anything else. Reluctantly, you poke the growth, and it releases a cloud of dust. You begin choking and feel slightly dizzy. Interesting. Can I attack it with a knife? Nothing happens. Hmm. There was another... There's another one in here. You use the head shears to cut away the vines that have grown over the metal box. Once removed, the box opens really easily. Rusty hacksaw. Okay. And now we can do this as well. You diligently clip away the vines until none remain, revealing a sliding glass door that was hiding behind them. Oh, cool. Okay, there's another- there's an easier way outside now. Cool. That's nice. That'll help when running away. Okay, well, I know this is very... morbid, but, you know... You saw through the corpse's dry, leathery flesh with a sickening grate. Eventually, the finger comes off, bearing the ring with it. Okay, we got the ring.
What was that other chest? Okay, it's a gold block. It's not here. The bronze key fits perfectly into the lock and opens it. Inside the chest is a large crossbow. Okay. This is getting more and more elaborate. What could I use this crossbow on? Okay, well, that helps a lot. Oh, hold on. What about using this on here? Okay, I just remember there was a small hole there. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. We have matches, the candelabra. You light the candles with matches. What well, appears to be modern art, okay. Um, what about the glasses? This is a cool old game. No, no. <laughs> It's making you think it's an old game. This came out like two weeks ago. Um, it's a collection of indie developers that got together and made 50 games, and they're pretending like these games were built in the 1980s. It's pretty cool. Like, I, I like the idea. But they've definitely captured, like, the spirit of these older games. I wish games like this existed back then. Oh, okay, apparently red glasses has no effect on it. The fact that, like, <laughs> you're that immersed that you believe it's it's from times of old, it means they did a good job. Rust and dust. What about oil? Can I use a shop? Oh, you know what? That's actually very morbid. I can... Ugh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to do it. I just realized I got the shovel. I didn't even click with that. Oh boy. The shovel pierces the ground with ease. Not long after you start digging, you feel the shovel hit something. Inside the hole, a skeletal remains of what appears to be an animal of some sort. Some ants are fighting over a small patch of dirt. A worn leather collar inscribed with Baxter, a steel key is attached to the collar. Have I played the Nancy Drew games? I have not, no. But I think they had them on my school's computers back in the day. I played Where in the World is Calm in San Diego. That was always fun. And on 
our computer, um, man, what was the name of that game? I think it was called King's Quest. I, but I was young and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Okay. I wonder what this key is used for. I've also... What, Monkey Island? Monkey Island was fun, but it's been such a long time since I've touched that game. Oh, I keep... It just keeps disorienting me. It's this. There we go. Wait, what was this again? The hexagonal opening. Nothing. I have wire. Key. Crossbow. Definitely getting tricky now. So what haven't I used yet? These inst I haven't used these instructions for anything. I have a new key. I have a ring. I feel like there's anything else to do in here. Let's go back upstairs. I think I've gotten everything here. What about the initial room? There was like a thing in the ceiling where we started off. There's also still this. There's a small hole in the front, but you find nothing. Hmm. What about the key? Yeah. No, I still haven't found a use for this key. I thought maybe, like, I'd use the crossbow. But it doesn't seem like... Okay. This is getting hard, man, like... I'm starting to run out of ideas here. Wait, what's the... Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm looking for the... Oh, you know what? Here's something I haven't tried, just... <laughs> Using the knife on all the stuff, boys. I 
How did I get in- oh, it's up here. That is- yeah, this is what I was looking for. You poke around through trophies, but don't find anything useful. What else had a key? There's gotta be something I've overlooked. Oh, you know what? But then... This is still sealed. Oh! Hexagonal. The ring outside. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. The ring outside. Wait, how do we get outside? Yeah. Can I click the map? No, nah, it doesn't work. Push the ring into the opening and something clicks. The water quickly drains from the fountain. You take the shiny green object out of the drained basin and are surprised to see it's an emerald. Okay. <laughs> One more. One more mystery. An emerald, huh? The clock, maybe? Can I maybe use the cutters to cut the block off? No. Nah. So something I haven't used yet, I haven't used the wrench. Or the oil. Oh wait, emerald. Yellow. White. Red, green. Okay, we already have- so we have one of the... Okay. <laughs> one out of four. This is- this is pretty neat. I'm going back into the garage. There's gotta be something in here that I haven't done yet. You're able to open the garage door mechanism using the wrench to discover it needs a new motor. Okay. Interesting. I guess I gotta try more things, huh? Foul rotten sent sails in nostrils in this dingy kitchen black ground. Okay. <laughs> Just use the crossbow on the cabinet. Out of the way. Break it. Okay, never mind. That should work. I 
notes. What are these instructions on the playroom wall? I mean, it looks like it's a treasure map of some sort. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. God damn it. That actually got me. Why is this game getting me when, like, I was perfectly calm in Resident Evil? I think there's, there's more of a sense of panic here. It might be the music, I, or maybe because this just takes me back to, like, how games look for me a, as a kid, and it, it's just my imagination, you know? Oh, shit. Damn it, he got me. Ah. Great. So I mean, I I think to get the um the award on this, you basically have to go through this entire process without without being caught once. Which yeah, good luck. Uh oh, get out. Um, yeah, I I kind of break this. <laughs> Outside, outside. Dummy. I'm an idiot. That should not have happened. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of ideas here, man. Like... What haven't... what haven't I tried? Hmm... Alright, so here... Heavy iron padlock is keeping it locked, so I tried... The key? Bad spanner... Try that, nope. Try the shovel. Nope. I haven't tried the lawnmower. The lawnmower's too heavy to carry around. And any part that might be useful is held firmly on by Oh. Okay, bolts. Using the wrench and a little elbow grease, you work the rusty bolts off and manage to pull the motor out. We have a motor. So now I can actually put it on the garage door. But this has got to be something. Can I use the crossbow? No. What about matches? No. Okay, no, no go. Using your wrench, you remove the broken motor from the garage door mechanism and install the one from the lawnmower. Okay, out, because this dude's gonna come. Yep. We're okay. I 
It's okay. <laughs> Jeez. It's getting harder. To avoid this, this dude. Okay, the garage door's open now, but... Ah! The key unlocks the car door and you open it. You thrust the car key into the ignition, turn it quickly, and the car starts up. This might be your only chance of getting out here alive. Do you take it? No. God damn it. There's more to solve, man. I mean, I'm guessing this is... to get the first ending, right? Fuck's sake. Look <laughs> how many how many did I have to dodge? Um, it's okay. I mean I, I guess I have a way out if I want. I really have to think. Like, clearly, to get the best ending, you have to, um, really, really think outside the box here. I can always go for it if I want. Once colorful posters depicting the various animals and dinosaurs now appear somber and muted in this dark room. I bet if I get in into the car it gives me the bad ending. Opening a small hatch on the bottom reveals there aren't even batteries. Oh, but I- see, I had batteries, but now... They're in the torch. Oh, shit. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. It's okay. Maybe. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe the top cabinet could do something. What haven't I tried? Alright, so like... I haven't found a use for the cable. That little key. Still haven't found a use for it.
Oh my god. Oh, that's so annoying. Get so quick. At this point, the whole survivability ship has sailed. I just want I just want a better ending. I want to know what some of these things do. There's the thing in the fireplace. Like, what if we light it on fire? We try to light the object in the fireplace, but the flame glows out. Ah, oil. There we go. Okay, hang on. We got something. There's a rust solvent. What? I tried... Okay, then back to the garage. I, I swear, like, I tried using oil on the rusty thing. Oil. On here. The oil dissolves the rust and the box springs open. Inside the box is a red gas can and a crowbar. You take both. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright, we got a thread now. Uh oh. Was that a clue? That may have been a clue. Hang on. Alright, anyway, doesn't matter. Gas can... Matches... The object immediately bursts into flames. After a few minutes of burning, it's reduced to a pile of ash. It's a ruby! Alright, we got second. Okay. Um, I'm going back outside now. So you smash it with the crowbar and still doesn't yield. Okay. Oops. I keep doing this by mistake. Um, but... Okay. Bread gemstone. Okay. Halfway. China cabinet. The glass shatters easily. Well, that's one way to open it. An ornamental egg. Okay, and now, yeah, this dickhead's gonna show up. Just thinking what we can do with the egg now. Maybe crack the egg open. I doubt it goes anywhere. Dude. <laughs> it's getting so hard. Okay.
crowbar. Nothing. Hmm. An intriguing, an intricately crafted ornamental egg, giving it a shake, reveals a rattle inside, but the egg itself seems to be completely sealed. As if a crossbow cannot crack open this egg. The wire, maybe? Nothing happens, okay. What about the piano wire on the crossbow? No. Tried everything. The key? No. Alright, I tried everything. Freezes contents and sealed in a block of solid ice. The house is already quite cold. They shut the floor. Okay. I'm trying to think what else I could use here. about okay hang on what about in the the garden shed there was like a a vice grip this thing a vice operates could be used to hold something across the haha <laughs> You place the egg into the vise and tighten it. The egg bulges with pressure before exploding. A gold key falls out. Okay. Now that key will open up upstairs. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Um, this way, right? Then this way. You unlock the door with the gold key. Judging by the size of this spacious room and the furniture within, this must be none other than the master bedroom. Another journal entry. This weekend I randomly started breaking out in hives. There are itchy bumps all over my arms and face. Put some allergy cream on my skin, and it seems to have helped a little. Okay, there we go. Unblock, now I can come through here. Your heart leaps into your throat as you realize there's someone under the covers. Fearing the worst, you yank back the covers and relieve that it's only a mannequin. Despite how- okay. Inside the drawer you find a worn journal with most of the pages torn out of it. A loose page falls out and you take it. October 13th. 
that's sad. They didn't make it. You take the painting off the wall and notice there's a safe behind it. The safe is locked tight. You spin the lock without knowing the combination. It's not going to open. Search through the closet, but don't find anything particularly useful. There are various books, knickknacks, and statuettes on the shelf, none of which appear to be useful. You pick up the bottle of cologne and take a whiff, recoiling at its overbearing scent. Yeah. Place it back on the dresser. Looking through the drawers, you find clothing, underwear, and other privates. But otherwise unremarkable items. Dead leaves fall to the ground the moment you touch the plant and you search through its reveal nothing. This quiet room is lined with bookshelves and the stale odor of old books. It seems like an ideal place to get some work done. Journal entry 6. Cheryl and I got into an argument over the kids drawing on the walls in their playroom. She thinks they're just expressing their creativity? But who will have to repaint the walls? Me! And it was me that Becky came crying to because Charlie had scribbled something important over something important she wrote on the walls. Aren't kids great? Spin the globe and it rotates smoothly. You take the tree oil, tea tree oil. Okay. You pull on the book and hear a metal sound. The bookcase slides away to reveal a hidden passage. Magnifying glass. Inside the cabinet you find a stack of old computer games by the LX systems. They seem fun, but no one has time for games. <laughs> You turn on the computer and a series of beeps, the black screen is glowing in text of requesting the login password. Dude's gonna come at me. Apart from some blood and broken glass, this bathroom looks clean and untouched compared to the rest of the house. You open up the cabinets and find various toiletries and bathroom cleaners. A bottle of peroxide catches your eye and you take it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch the toilet. The glass door of this walk-in shower is broken, and dried, bloody handprints smeared on the surface. You feel filthy, but the idea of showering here doesn't appeal to you. I just wanted to see if there was anything inside. There is an X scratched into the surface of this large vanity mirror. Use the direction of the mirror, but nothing happens. Hang on. There's an X. But it's like... Very secure, okay, never mind. The toilet? 
Shit. Out. It's gotta be that room. There's gotta be something to do with that room. Mistake again. Um, I got some new items. There's got to be something to do in there. A magnifying glass. A powerful magnifying lens set and antique pewter handle. Okay. I'm thinking maybe the small keyhole, like here. Hmm. How's it going? I've gotten somewhere. I've gotten into a secret study. And found a secret passageway. So, in this room, there's an X on the glass, and then here, there's an X, so this is clearly something. The directions have got to lead to something in here. I mean, I'll, I haven't seen another X anywhere else. Revealing something written on the wall behind it. The mirror has been shattered in the numbers 229-8. Okay, there we go, I got the... Dick. I got, I got the combo to the safe, got the combo to the safe. Suddenly you regain your composure, perhaps you manage to lose them. Okay. I've kind of learnt the layout of the house a, a bit better now, as well.
Oh, don't do that. The safe is locked tight. You spin the lock, but without knowing that... I know the combination. Use the combination. You try the number... code you found in the bathroom. The lock clicks, and... the safe pops open, revealing a white gem. I got the white gem. Okay, so... There's just one more gem to find. I have so many objects that I haven't found a purpose for yet. Uh, white gem was this one, right? White, okay. I still haven't figured out what to do with the piano wire. Okay, and I did get tea tree oil. Hmm. Would this work on this? No, okay. Because I did get the rust off that lock. Nothing. <laughs> I need to figure out, like, the next thread. See if there's anything in the study that I can use the magnifying glass on. I don't think there's anything else to find here. I think that was the big thing. What would we do with this? <laughs> randomly using it on stuff. I thought for sure, like, maybe there was something hidden here. Hmm. I can't believe the magnifying glass didn't work with the small hole here.
Okay, just thinking outside the box here, like doing something to the portrait. So what is the screwdriver used for anyway? It just says it's a plastic screwdriver. I tried shoving the screwdriver. I tried everything with that clock. There's got to be something with that clock. I tried... Putting the screwdriver in. And I have some crossbow for some reason. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's another thing. Right, this. Pry bar on the door. This is the only other thing, is like this door. There is enough space between the door and its frame to pry it open. Okay. This is the only other door I haven't figured out yet, either. Tea tree oil. There's gonna be, like, an aha moment <laughs> at some point. There's gotta be something I overlook. This is a little desperation. What about hedge trimmers? We all dissolve the one mentality. Just try everything. Nothing. I got the item from the. Perhaps there's a better way of doing this. Oh. Crowbar? Okay. There we go. So that just gives me another way to get out. Can I do the same here? Like, maybe use the shovel to get rid of. Okay, um, crowbar. Oh, I suppose there's this as well. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I... Use the pollen... Ah, damn it. I thought maybe, like, there'd be an attic or something that I could access by using this. That might be a detail that I've missed, is like, there's something to do with the ceiling.
Oh, damn it, I keep double tapping. Okay, this is the gar- okay, so this is where the garbage path would lead. That's not gonna lead me anywhere new. Uh, what else is in here? <laughs> I'm sorry if it's taking a while for this to click. I'm gonna try the hook pole on various objects. I think, like, this is resolved. Like, that's just to get the bad ending, I'm guessing. But I'm not gonna hop in the car. I'm just one more gem away. I just need to figure out what to do here. The computer needs a password. There's got to be something with the magnifying glass that I need to do. Probably stuff I haven't clicked yet. <laughs> some of some of this text is, is just like, oh, it's just this. Very helpful. The man has a wide grin in this hunting photo. You're feeling particularly empathetic towards deer at this moment. Let me have a look if there's anything else in here. There's gotta be something I've missed, like very minor. Sponsors. Two decorative lamps. Okay, nothing. Wait, what's this? The bottle is sealed. It doesn't look like there's anything much of use anyway. Damn it. I thought maybe there'd be like a piece of paper or something. There's gotta be a hint for the password somewhere. Don't seem to find anything under or around the chair. What is this? 
clothing designs. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Getting in front of a crowbar. The boards are remarkably secure and doesn't seem worth the effort to remove them. Damn it. The layout of this hallway is similar. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's still the same. Did I miss the obvious somewhere? Like, the door itself isn't locked, but something's holding it tightly shut from the other side. Man, it's the one thing I haven't figured out is like this key. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be something morbid, but like, Nothing. Is there anything else hidden in this body? Okay. I'm convinced. ceramic bowl. You take- oh! Hold on. Man, the amount of things you can interact with. No reason to do that. Okay. Why would I want a bowl? I feel like some of these are red herring. <laughs> like... It's gonna make me think that there's something to do with them and there's, there's nothing. And there's still the whole thing about this wall, like, I feel like there's something... Oh! Wait, 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 Mag magnifying lens. On the, on the art, on the art. Nothing? What did it say? What appears to be modern art is faintly visible through the darkness. Torch? Man, I thought lighting this thing. The flames go out. The flames of the candles go out the moment the candelabra is moved. Turns out, it's not a very useful source of light. This has got to- this has got to be something. I don't know matches anymore, do I? Not. That's it. Matches are gone. <laughs> this is this is probably a red herring. Okay, fine. Okay. A 
it did figure this out, but I don't want to get in. Oh, man, I'm so close to figuring this out. The one thing that I feel like it has to be is that, um, this. I said it was weathered. I tried putting oil on it. Wait, it put it on the door. Hang on, maybe not the lock. No. This is the only thing that I feel like would lead to something. Oh, hang on. What about... And then there's this as well. Like, there's another thread. What about... Nah, nothing. This moldy growth. I've tried different things. An empty ceramic bowl it smells like old dog food. Hmm. Oh man, I'm gonna hate the answer. It's, it's gotta be something minor I've ever looked. I figured out all the other ones, it's like, there's a couple of threads. Ah, oh, crap. I'm fine. Maybe I should inspect the body that's in the pool. Oh crap. Ah, I went the wrong way. Alright. I have so many items and there's just nothing. Okay, um The jacket on this bloated corpse reveals that they worked for a lawn care company. Doesn't seem significant. Antique pewter handle. I can't believe that it, it doesn't. There's, there's actually nothing with this art. <laughs> Maybe there is, but. I've tried everything. And then there's this clock. Okay, what if this is like an item combination thing? T 
tea tree oil and peroxide, maybe? No. doesn't have their password written on a post-it note somewhere. Rude. You turn the knob and the button lock- oh. What the hell? Oh, this, okay, it's like a shortcut, I guess. Right, I just opened that other door, which is this one here. Alright, it's nothing big. It's just another way to navigate. There's one door that I just haven't figured out how to get down. <sighs> it's gotta be something minor that I've ever looked. What is it? To the balcony. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're cool, we're cool. There we go. Journal on through 16. Alright, we got progress. It always screaming. Noise newts noise keep it in room with door lock to stop me from hear it. Now it's hot, hot, feel well to make tea for it. It must drink Tea, drink tea. Keep it in the room with door lock to stop me. Okay. The cigar butt. <laughs> One more item. You try to pull the object from the rope, but it's just too heavy. Yeah, just, just add to the growing... Oh wait, tea tree oil on here? Nothing. This plant seems to be doing well for itself, only from the virtue of being outside. There's a heavy op- <laughs> ah! Alright, hold on. Oh, for fuck's sake. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> right when I made progress. Just all the other times the windows did nothing, and that's the one room where there was something for it. Double crap. Triple crap. <laughs> uh, it's alright. I've, I've given up on, like, doing this properly. There was something heavy on the other side of that. You flip the latch and the trap door swing open. Let me guess, this is the room. Okay, well, that didn't really help too much. Um... You can cut the rope. Too thick, okay. Um... Shears on the rope. Too thick. Saw. There we go. Start on the ground below. Alright, let's go back out. Where would it- oh, there we go. 
You can't rip the cloth open with your bare hands. The rope is tied too tightly. Morbidly you want... <sighs> okay. There we go. Using the trusty knife, you slice through the cloth, ripping the bundle. Inside is, of course, the key. Take the gleaming... Oh, it's the yellow stone. Okay. The final stone. <laughs> My god. There we go. The walls of this hedge maze stretch high above you as its paths twist and wind in various directions. After wandering the maze for several minutes, you realize that you've... Ugh. The maze gives way to a clearing where a solitary statue is ensconced among the hedge walls. A quiet stillness hangs in the air. There's an arrow. You take it. Oh, for fuck's sake. How do- how do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? <laughs> Your trembling finger pulls the trigger and the crossway fires its bolt right into the eye hole. The man's mask. He screams. and collapses to the ground after making sure he's not moving. You search his body and find a rusted iron key. I did it. The iron key opens the lock on the bulkhead door. Wires and ventilation ducts hang overhead in this dismal basement, doing little to relieve the sweet, pungent musk that permeates here. 17. What is... Light hurt, hide light, head hurt, more bumps on face, light hurt. Bombs hurt, the... Drink more tea to feel. Bye, wife. Bye, 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 bye. The fuse box is open with only some sort of fuse intact. The rest are burnt out. Old documents are filed away on the shelf. Okay. You notice there are mushrooms growing out of this musty mound of clothing that is piled up haphazardly against the washing machine. The washer is empty and has a very stale, musty odor. Inside the dryer is what appears to be the remnants of a long-gone animal's nest. You try to open the front panel, but it's no use. It's firmly secured with screws. Hey, look at that. Finally, got a use for the screwdriver. Using the screwdriver, you unfasten the screws holding the panel and it falls to the floor. Hopefully it didn't make a sound. You poke around the gearbox with your finger, but there isn't much you can do with... Oh, gear is missing. Okay, well we definitely don't have it. You easily open the sliding door, unlocking the door at the top of the stairs. And now we're back here. My god. Okay, so what? Man, there is still <laughs> so much this. I thought I was getting somewhere, but now... More questions remain... unanswered. Is 
There's gotta be more in that room. But I've accessed every room now, so... I'm not on the washer. I'm here. I feel like I've done everything. There's rust there. Nothing. What was this again? The remnants of a long gone animal nest. Hmm. Still haven't found a use for this key. This music is, is like, making me stress out. <laughs> it just feels like a big final boss is going to appear. I got, I got the feeling that dude's still alive. What if it's something stupid, like the tea tree oil soothes them? I bet that's what it is, or the light gives them away, but it's probably just like a single use thing. Well, shit. <laughs> no closer to the end. Where would we get a gear for a, a clock? You would think there'd be a gear in the clock. I'm still convinced there's something in this stupid thing. <laughs> it's, use the shovel on the clock. Break it open. Store it open. Cigar. I bet there's just a bunch of items that basically do nothing. I think I need to look at the map uh, on each screen because it tells me, like, what you can do. And then maybe there's one more room that I've missed somewhere. That's still unresolved. Okay, one, two, three.
I've got to be so close to finishing this. I've got that last door open. <laughs> That's just... What is it? I would have thought that maybe this portrait did something. Wait, what about the glasses? Like maybe... Nothing. Okay. I'm just thinking outside the box here. Why would you need hydrogen per peroxide? I bet he's still alive, like, there's no way he's not alive. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Um... Should I go investigate that? Hang on, go outside. I mean... Random stuff has happened already. There appears to be two balconies as well. Go around. What was that? And there's still the matter of this thing, like, what is this? It said light. Nothing. Nothing. Like, that's... there's gotta be some way to do something to this. I tried the peroxide. The guard bot? Nothing. I have no way of lighting the cigar anymore. Unless I have access to matches again. Same thing. Okay. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't had him turn up. Oh man, I don't know. What... <laughs> I'm out of ideas. I'm missing here. I still haven't found a use for the magnifying glass at all, but that doesn't necessarily mean there is one. What about in the kids' room? There was like that thing in the roof. 
up here. What is that? Nothing. I think they're just stickers. I mean, he's not coming back, so that's interesting. I, all I need is something that's a cog. Maybe I should just keep using the spanner on things. Or the wrench, whatever. Something's gotta have a cog on the inside. Don't see anything in the car worth breaking into. You already fixed it, okay. Well, it's not that. Oh man, this is gonna be so minor. <laughs> I'm gonna hate it. It's going to be something so minor that I've overlooked, and I, I, I hate it. Much like that balcony that I discovered. I feel like... That moment in Zoolander, where they're trying to get the files off the computer, and then they realize it's in the computer, and they just start beating the crap out of the computer. Like, I'm just one step away from just trying to crack open that computer. What about a screwdriver? Can we, can we crack open the computer? Nothing. <sighs> I mean, the nice thing is the guy is no longer chasing me. It almost feels like I should have everything I need to get this done already. Nothing. I don't have anything that's remotely close to, like, being a gear.
Yeah, I can't take the fuses out. I don't have the tweezers or anything like that. Why isn't ventilation ducts hang overhead in this dismal basement doing little to relieve the sweet pungent musk that permeates here? Hmm. Use the crab out on the metal door, but nothing happens. And I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, let's let's go through the list of items. <sighs> okay. The tea tree oil, I imagine, because there was that lore entry that talked about the the tea. So, I imagine this is just to soothe the guy when he comes after you, like a single-use thing. I doubt it's that. This I've used. Hmm. So, I mean, everything on this I've got in a use for, except the thing. The tea tree. This I've all had a use for. The magnifying glass and the peroxide is the only thing I haven't found a use for. And the bowl. There's gotta be something that I use the magnifying glass on. Like, I refuse to believe that it gave me that for nothing. I thought in the kids' room... Like, this shit. They're probably just stickers. But this is a- hang on. What, what about in here? Let me try on the posters. Nothing. This is desperation here. It's- oh wait, peering inside the dollhouse you can see what looks like writing on one of the walls, but it's too small to read. Holding up the magnifying glass you're able to read the tiny print on the dollhouse wall, Lancelot. Okay. <laughs> God. Alright, hold on. Progress. Dude. This game is insane. I, I thought it wouldn't be this long, but this is actually quite detailed. For something that's in a collection of 50 games. Lancelot. You type Lancelot into the computer and the words Login Successful appear on the screen. You manage to access the computer with the password. You're familiar with its interface because of the computer class you once took. Really? It's in the trash. Fungicide. You've already made a note of the recipe. Mix peroxide, tobacco leaf, and tea tree oil to get- Wow. What? But then, I tried that before. Was it because I just didn't have the note? I tried pouring the peroxide in a bowl. Probably because I didn't have the note, and then... The cigar. Holy shit. And now we have this. Okay. Dude, this... <laughs> this rabbit hole. Alright, 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 alright. Back outside. What 
Wait, wrong way. I always get the outside confused. Fungicide on this. No? Oh, you're kidding. Damn it, I, I really thought that was it. Okay, um... Where else have we got mushrooms? On the dead body? No, that that pile. That pile in... In the basement. There's a pile in the basement. Go back. Okay. God, is it is it really this? Have I seen mushrooms? I thought for sure it was like that stuff in the shed. So what did it say when I tried applying it to that pile? Yeah, there are mushrooms growing out of this musty mound. Is it really not that? Nothing happens. What did it say about this? This is this is fungus, isn't it? No, but it's a growth. It doesn't call it fungus specifically. It's also getting late. It's like midnight brain is kicking in. <laughs> so. I'm clearly forgetting something. What am I forgetting? That's just garbage. Unless I summon the guy and try using fungicide on him. That's the only other thing I'm thinking of, is like, maybe... Maybe, just maybe it's that. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs to the downstairs bathroom. I did kill him, so that might be... No, he's not here. Hmm. I think he's, he's actually just gone. <laughs> you're hungry, but you're not that hungry. Okay.
Hmm. What does it say about fungicide? I'm going back to the computer. There might be more of the... Oh, also, Nye UFO? Nothing. Just checking that. <laughs> yeah, no other info. I wonder if I messed up by taking that guy out. Maybe there's multiple endings here. Oh, he's he's definitely gone. Like there's there's no threat anymore. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised it's not that. Let me look at the body again, because I. It looks like there's mushrooms growing here. Yeah, it says fungi. That weird thing on the wall, and this is the only two circumstances I can think of, like, fungus, and that's interactable. What about here? Just rotten. Ah, oh, chat. I feel like I'm so close to getting this. <laughs> There's just one more piece of the puzzle. I feel like I'm on the verge of getting it. It's just, man, you really have to look everywhere. I wonder if I've truly messed it up by killing the guy. Like, maybe... The fungicide was to cure him. And I've, I've messed it up. I worry that that might be the case. Where haven't I looked? Those locked downstairs, but I don't know, man. Jeez. <laughs> mm, don't really see anything else here. I'm looking carefully at every screen.
Hmm. I'm gonna, like, ugh, I don't want to give up. <laughs> But if this is truly going nowhere... I may have to try and get a hint somehow without spoiling it. Because I'm so close, like, it's gotta be really close. I'm gonna try literally everything. <laughs> what if I already have the item? It wouldn't be the notes. Long steel wire. Nothing happens. I tried, I tried using everything. I can't believe the antifungal thing is not this, like, that's... It is so weird, like, I thought that would have been it. What else? Uh, the, the wire? The piano wire here? No. Nah. And this stray key that I have no idea. Yeah, nothing here. Man. I'm just gonna, like, inspect things and anything that has a description of mushroom. I will, uh, I will look into it. Wait, there's an empty jar of Moldock tea that smells pungent. Okay, never mind. I mean, it's wild that there's still stuff I haven't actually clicked. Getting this right here. <laughs> Antifungal. No, nothing. Okay, this, this might be like a morbid idea, but... 
No, it's just remains. I don't think there's mushroom here. I just, I, I can't believe <laughs> the two things that I thought were a sure thing. It actually was nothing. Oh, it's gotta be something in the basement. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Use the fungicide on the wash, but nothing happens. Why is it not picking up on the... the mound? Nothing. I'm definitely getting desperate here, like I'm trying different things. I might, I might have to get a hint. <laughs> this is... Oh man, I'm losing my mind. I can't believe it wasn't the thing in, in the shed. I'm gonna hate the answer, either way. There's definitely gonna be something minor that I've overlooked. Maybe crowbar. Looking carefully at this room. Mm, I don't see anything. Driving me nuts.
I've looked in every room. I don't see anything that... That would, um, like, point to this. It's got to be that clock, man. Like, there's got to be a way to get into that clock. That's the only way... The only item... Way to get it gear. Like, clocks have gear. There's a small hole in the front. What do I have that... Fits that description? Screwdriver. either. Spoon. Nothing. Piano wire. Nothing. And then there's a stupid silver key. <laughs> like... Oh my god. What a, uh, I I think there's gotta be- there's gotta be something I missed. Like, this key I got very early on, but I didn't use it. I may have to look up a hint to this. <sighs> Alright, let's just have a look. I'm gonna have a look again. I, like... Let's start with the silver key. I'm gonna look for something that... The silver key can open. There's nothing in the bathroom. What? Didn't I do this? Oh, god damn it! Brass key. Cool! <laughs> I lost one key to get another key. That, that's great, game. Okay, hold on. <laughs> now where would I use a brass key? Well... ah, You insert the brass key into the clock's face, and turn it to satisfying clicks. The clock chimes briefly, but makes an unusual grinding sound, followed by a loud snap. Finally something drops and rolls out the gear. Okay. Alright. Okay. I knew it. It was like a minor, minor damn detail. Gear. Nothing. Can I just use it now? The gearbox is likely operated by the lever outside the box. Okay, there's the lever. You pull the lever with all your might, but doesn't seem to budge. It's rusted in place. Oil. You spray the penetrating oil on the base of the lever. Now you pull it. You pull the lever easily, but nothing happens. Looking at the broken wires, you wonder if the box needs power to work. Can I use piano wire on here? Nothing. Ah, uh, okay. Using the piano wire, you tie the damaged wires together. A spark of electricity zaps your fingers and you catch a whiff of ozone. Now pull it. Oh my god. Okay. 
You step into a scene that makes your mind reel with horror. An entire room covered in various manifestations of pulsating fungi. You use the fungicide on the pustule, but nothing happens. On the face? You pour the fungicide onto the wall, and it begins shaking violently, emitting a high-pitched sound. You run outside. A faint cry is drowned out by the crackle of the flames, which warm you as you watch the house burn. The nightmare is over. Okay. Good ending? You had nine bad dreams while you were trapped in the night manor. Okay, but that's like... Death. That was cool, just man... It's my own fault. At the very end there, just missing that stupid D at the start. I swear I opened that box, but I guess I didn't. It's alright. I, I blame the Midnight Brain for this one. It is, it is quite late. Um, these are made up people, by the way. Um, is that also... Like, it looks like there's something appearing on the driver's face. I'm guessing that's the ending of, like... Hmm. Stuff is growing. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Alright, that was Nightmare. Oh. Jeez. Oh, I got the cherry disc. Okay, well, that was just actually... just completing it. Escape the killer. Okay. Cool. Um, I guess the only other thing I want to do, since we spent a lot of time, is check in with this. Okay. We got a lot of silk as well. Wizard yo-yo. I don't have enough science. Big silos, not enough silk. Okay, I see. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, currency trading here. A hundred and fifty. Um, it's still a while from getting that much silk. I can spin silk fast if I listen to some high-pitched music. Oh! Whistling. There you go. Okay, and then one of them... Okay, so I'll have Silk spin sooner. I mean, that's the thing with this game, you just check in periodically. I'm not going to do any anything else here, but at least this is set up, so then when I play this again... Silos... Okay, so it needs silk. I'll probably go for the, the big silos, because then it can hold more stuff. Alright, that's it. Hooray! <laughs> Well, that was, um, that was an interesting one, Night Manor. I liked it. I thought maybe the cherry disc might involve, um, getting through that without being caught once, but thankfully it doesn't, so I got, I got it. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll keep doing more UFO 50, um, because I really, really can't recommend this collection enough. It's really fun. So, you'll definitely see more of it.
Um, but that'll do it for tonight. As this was on point for the Halloween stuff, so it was cool to check out. Um, if you're checking this out later as a replay, by the way, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the YouTube channel that has all those VODs, just click the like button, it helps a lot. Yeah, thank you for watching.